Ireland and um, uh, look forward to coming and having a chat with you that'd be fantastic I'll, and I'll come with my colleague Steve because we're, we're writing this piece together uh, okay I'm just a bit worried about you Charles about Oliver Henry's Island music because he was to, to almost totally deaf yeah but he also okay. but he also I, I've done a lot of research Alan. I've been to the Institute of Electrical Engineers and I've seen his I've seen the music he's written you know he wrote some music out he wrote music okay. for um, uh, Pop Goes the Weasel. He's written his own special form of notation, and so I'm really interested because you're right. Oh, he was right. he was deaf, but he was also very musical, and he he played the piano. We bought it. We bought a heavy side piano. We've got a Charles heavy side piano, and we've bought a pier, um, um, uh, a uh, orchestrion from online as well from eBay, which is the instrument he used to play. So yeah, we've we've, right. been, we've we've been doing our heavy side musical homework. Oh, good. OK, yeah. then. Right, I'm looking forward to seeing you in another fortnight's time. Yeah, we'll give you a ring. Thank you very much, Alan. Rehydrated yellow split peas, 86%. Water, salt, spices. Okay, so it's vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. Four salt. <laughs> That's good, That's isn't it? That's fantastic. Yes, I've had someone ask me for the months before, and they should have been here, but they weren't here. Oh, there we time. are. Anthony Phillips. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what would a shaman like? Um, uh, sage. Sunfire. That's a good sage. Look at this sage. Please leave your message after the tone. To re record your message, key hash at any time. Hello Sandra, it's Hugh here. Um, I'm on a, a shamanistic mission to Wiltshire with Steve um, and uh, calling you because we were going to talk about this time. But if you could call me back, that'd be good. Um, and if you could tell me what your animal spirit totem is, um, that would be quite helpful as well. 
Bye bye. Okay, so that owl worm will appear in the story of Heaviside. Is that an owl? Is there an importance in finding your totem before you die? Is Maybe. That, is that what's Class important? Dean. Two major groups of animals with backbones or vertebrates which actually fly under their own power. The best known of these are certainly the birds, but the other group is mammalian bats. His spirit totem mm -hmm. is the worm. Wow. And he, the undying worm. And he, at the end of his letters, he used to write. Oliver Heaviside W O R M It's the undying worm because he eats through all the dead bodies and there are so many dead bodies in the code. Brilliant. And we know that a worm is a little serpent as well. Mm -hmm. And the serpent is all, is of a primary important in cross-culturally shamanic sort of visionary um, sort of communication. The serpent seems to crop up again and again. Mm. Some more modern commentators like Jeremy Narby has written a book called The Cosmic Serpent in which he believes that it may be possible through altered states like the meditation of ecstasies or the psychotropics to, to see DNA and that's what reckons that all this is, this is DNA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you... Know, covenants and animal transformation. Yeah. It's only a little, it's bound to be quite good. <laughs>